course, the tales of the late Norman monster, Normie. There have been various sightings um, of Normie and um, uh, some to be believed, some perhaps not. I have not sighted it personally, though um, we have a pretty big lake and uh, pretty deep water. Karl Mokal habite au bord du lac et s'est toujours considéré comme un sceptique face aux rumeurs d'une créature monstrueuse dans le lac. Jusqu'au jour où lui et sa fille ont été témoins d'un phénomène étrange. Honestly, nothing of that size um, I've ever seen before. Making such a wake where it actually would rock a sailboat that's actually moored to a dock. Yeah, it was pretty big. I didn't think there was like something that big in lakes, like maybe in the ocean, but it was really big, and I didn't know what it was. Growing up near the shore, I know what whales look like and sharks. I've seen them, dolphins, obviously, here in North Carolina. In the lake regions, you know, you see big fish and things like that, but nothing quite like this. And if I was the type of guy to actually take pictures and text, start texting people, then I definitely saw something that was a little out of the ordinary. L'existence du monstre du lac Norman, surnommé Normie, est associée par certains résidents à la centrale nucléaire installée sur ses rives. Mais d'autres hypothèses intéressantes pourraient expliquer ce mystère. Si plusieurs croient que les radiations émises par la centrale nucléaire pourraient être à l'origine du mystère du lac Norman, d'autres pensent que la créature rôde dans les eaux de la rivière Catawba depuis bien avant la construction du barrage. John Hare est l'auteur d'une vingtaine de livres traitant essentiellement d'histoire. Il s'est notamment basé sur des légendes locales pour documenter son livre « Les mystérieuses créatures de la Caroline du Nord ». The Catawba River is uh, sort of steeped in uh, history and legends. There is a tradition, a long tradition, of stuff, uh, animals, mysterious kind of creatures inhabiting this river long before they ever dug this lake. I knew about the Catawba River because we used to sing and fish the Catawba River from up near Troutman all the way to where they built the dam. Lake Norman now covers over 530 miles of shoreline. So it, it's huge. It's bigger than the Sea of Galilee. And it's hard to imagine. There could be some creatures lurking in the deep because it's pretty deep down there where the original river went through. One of the prime examples would have been uh, the Catawba Indians used to tell the story about uh, a fellow that was uh, living in a little village over on the east side of the river. And he canoed across the river and he was hunting over there and he sees this, this, this huge animal he saw so he's like he didn't know what it was it was there on the river so then he gets up and to, to investigate and it's a giant snake 